What's up, Sports Rehab Expert Land? Uh, today we're going to be coming at you with another squatting video. Uh, we're going to be talking about some misconceptions I feel there are around leg length differences between individuals and squatting. So I recently posted a video uh, up on YouTube about how to squat deeper. In the comments section, I had somebody mention, well, you know, we shouldn't be saying that everybody should be able to squat like me, be able to squat to depth because people have different limb lengths. And as a result, not everybody's gonna be able to squat deep. There's a misconception there from a lot of people, not just this person. Um, there's a misconception there that uh, limb lengths are the reason why some people can't squat deep. So when we talk about limb lengths, uh, we talk about how people will squat differently. This is true, they will squat differently um, with different limb lengths. So some people have long femurs and shorter torsos. Some people have shorter femurs and longer torsos. And as a result, there'll be two different types of squats. The cool thing about this though is uh, the qualities of the squat still remain the same. What you need to squat deep is still the same. Uh, the cues that you give somebody to squat deep will still be the same. And when people make the argument of limb lengths making uh, it more challenging for people to squat, because it, it will make it more challenging for people with longer femurs to squat deeper. But it, just because it's more challenging doesn't mean it's not achievable. Uh, and that's the misconception. Some people blame the reason why they can't squat deep on their limb lengths. And that is a false assumption. You, you can squat deep, uh, you just need to know how to improve your squatting depth and the qualities behind that and how to actually train that. Um, you know, myself, I have a doctorate of physical therapy, I've been a strength coach, uh, I've been in the profession for over 10 years, and uh, as evident in the video that I demonstrated before, for seven of those years, I didn't, I wasn't able to squat full depth. I tried, I tried all the drills that the gurus said, but it wasn't until I really understand, understood what was going on that um, I was able to start squatting deeper, and it wasn't until, you know, a good two years of actually working on what actually helped me doesn't mean it's going to help everybody. I gave some different reasons why someone could squat deep. We'll go over a little bit more of that today. But um, it wasn't until you really start honing in on how to improve that, that that depth can start improving. And so when you say you've worked with all the trainers, um, well, it doesn't, it, as, as I said before, I spent seven years where I really didn't, I, you know, I knew how to help somebody squat, but I didn't really know how to improve somebody's squat depth. Uh, for those stubborn cases, such as someone who has a longer femur, uh, shorter torso. Um, so, which, which is myself, that's my body structure, it's why I was good at running track. Um, <clears throat> one of the reasons. Um, but, but anyways, back to the, the point at hand, uh, you should not place limb length uh, differences between individuals as a reason why you can't squat deep. That, that is not true. Um, there could be orthopedic reasons why you can't squat deep. That's a different discussion. That's something medical. Um, reasons such as you know, hip impingement, bony overgrowth that's, that have happened. Um, we'll touch on differences between hip anatomy. Uh, I, got a dif I got a different opinion on that subject at hand too. But um, you know, if you have a torn labrum or if you've uh, had various different knee surgeries, um, ankle surgeries, there's orthopedic reasons why someone might not be able to squat deep. Um, if you don't have orthopedic reasons uh, and you can't squat deep, then we need to dig deeper why that is. We mentioned in the video last week, check it out if you haven't already, uh, that ankle flexibility is one reason, but it's often uh, looked at too much or focused on too much. Um, you need some ankle dorsiflexion, but you don't need a ton. Um, knee loading tolerance. You have to be able to load your knees um, and tolerate deep knee bends um, in order to squat deep. And then most importantly, again, you need uh, the ability to anteriorly tilt the pelvis. And uh, second most importantly, you need hip internal rotation to be able to get down to full depth. Now I've had this picture up here already on this video today, but I'm gonna put it up here again. And uh, as I mentioned before, just because someone's might have different limb lengths doesn't mean they can't squat deeply, which is why I like this picture, because it shows two people with different limb lengths, but both of them squatting to equal depth. Um, so again, the, the concept that your limb length is the reason why you can't squat deep is not true. 
Um, and uh, so here, what we have is, um, as I mentioned before, the qualities of the squat depth remain the same, just it's going to look a little bit different. In both cases, both people have to anteriorly tilt. The person with the longer femurs is going to have to anteriorly tilt a little bit more. Um, and then uh, as far as ankle dorsiflexion, the person with the longer femurs is, are going to have to dorsiflex their ankle a little bit more too. Um, but both of them still require ankle dorsiflexion, still require a deep knee bend, and still require an anterior pelvic tilt, and still require internal rotation. Cool thing too here, you can see how there's a dotted line right through the midfoot. Um, and the barbell going right through the midfoot when you're looking at technique and form That should still be the same irregardless of the person's limb lengths um, That's why I cue pressure right through the midfoot um, I cue somebody to push down to the floor right through the midfoot. I cue them sit your belly button and your uh, sternum right down in between your feet and nose over toes and then uh, the rest kind of is just self-organizing uh, depending on your limb length you know, person will bow forward a little bit more if they have a shorter torso. Person will uh, stay a little bit more upright if they have a longer torso. Um, so, it, you know, it, it's all relative. Uh, the body is going to self-organize in a manner that allows it to still get to depth. But from a technique standpoint, from a side angle, all that you're looking at is the barbell stays right over the midfoot. And again, that's where the pressure through your foot should feel like. Uh, is right dead center over top of your shoelaces. Now this person that was in the comment section at the other video, um, they reference a different video that you'll see often talked about when someone's uh, uh, talking about limb lengths uh, and uh, how that impacts someone squatting. Um, so I'm gonna post that video right here and uh, let that kind of run through uh, and I'm gonna talk over it. So uh, what the person is demonstrating I'll put this link down in the, the description because it is a good video. I think you should watch it too. So, um, so if there's if you're interested in watching it, click on the link down in the description. Um, but it, it's interesting. He never mentions that you shouldn't be able to squat deep. Um, again, that's a, a false notion um, that because you have various different limb lengths that you can't squat deep. You still can squat deep. It just looks a little bit differently. Now, the, the thing I want to point out about this model is it's a a steel model that's all hinges uh, and uh, the title of the name of the video says it all it says the foldability of squat well all our joints are not hinge joints uh, our hip is a ball and socket and our ankle has the ability to rotate uh, so there's a lot of degrees of freedom there outside of just flexion and extension um, and that's something that this model does not point out so there are more degrees of freedom in human anatomy than there are in this steel model here. Um, so the mechanics aren't exactly like this, but it does point out some useful things to recognize. So um, one thing that they point out is the relationship between the knee and the hip. Um, every bit that the knee goes forward, the hip will go forward a little bit more. Uh, I, that's going to be true. Um, and then uh, depending on the limb lengths, you may have to bow forward a little bit more to keep that uh, bar right midline uh, as evident in this model by the uh, stake that the uh, stick figure is on. So um, there are some useful concepts to understand with this. Again, squatting is going to look differently. I never said it wasn't in my previous video. Um, and again, just because you have various different limb length differences person to person doesn't mean that you still can't squat deep. Uh, it's just going to look slightly differently. Um, and uh, again, you have rotation abilities in your femur and in your ankle and in your pelvis. And so uh, the, the discrepancies are not as significant as what this video uh, likes to point out. Lastly, I want to touch on differences in human anatomy. You'll, you'll see various different pictures floating out of various different pelvis shapes, uh, hip socket shapes, and femur shapes. Um, this is something also to consider, but um, these are also extreme examples. It's not necessarily the majority of cases that you're going to see. And even in a lot of these cases, it doesn't necessarily mean uh, you know, this is a dead person anatomy skeleton. I have no idea if they had an orthopedic issue or not. Um, so, you know, if you don't have an orthopedic issue, you shouldn't be using your uh, anatomy that, from a genetic standpoint as a reason why you can't squat deep. Um, you're still capable of squatting deep unless there's 
a uh, orthopedic slash injury reason why you can't squat deep. Um, the, the shape of your femur, the shape of your ball and socket, the shape of your pelvis might dictate, you know, do you toe out a little bit more, uh, how much external rotation slash internal rotation may you may have, um, and then, uh, you know, how much anterior tilt you might be capable of achieving. But again, just because the anatomy structure of you is different, doesn't mean that that's the reason why you can't squat deep. It just might mean you might squat a little bit differently. Uh, again, there's nuance behind all of this and it's all on a spectrum uh, and that's something that can't be pointed out in a 10 minute video. Uh, that's something that needs to be done through an orthopedic evaluation. Um, so I'm not saying that people shouldn't be squatting differently. Um, I'm saying don't take extremes to make a judgment. When I put up YouTube videos, it's talking about generalities as it relates to the majority. Um, and limb length discrepancies uh, between people and uh, your anatomical pelvis, femur, hip socket shape uh, is an overused excuse for why you uh, can't squat deep. You just haven't honed in on the correct uh, qualities that are necessary for you to squat deep based upon your limb lengths and your anatomy. Um, and again, that requires an orthopedic evaluation. If you're interested in something like that, we do that online with people uh, at sportsgreatofexpert.com or you can email Greg at sportsgreatofexpert and we can uh, start talking about how to hone in on your squat depth specifically. Um, and then again, you may have orthopedic issues and you may not be able to squat deep all the way either. So there are those circumstances that are out there. I uh, just want to make that known, but uh, it's not because of limb lengths. And it's not because of your uh, genetic anatomy, it's because of other reasons in the majority of circumstances. That being the key line, okay? That's your takeaway from this video. Don't use those as excuses unless there truly is a reason. Um, and I would get multiple second opinions on that factor, um, even if you did it with me, I wouldn't say, you know, don't just trust me for what I'm saying. Get multiple opinions on that and see what resonates with you the most.